Now I am here for the Edinburgh Festival Fringe. For those who don't know very much about it, back in the day there used to be a big arts festival known as the Edinburgh Festival, but it had a jury. You had to convince the jury that your show was good enough to be put on. The actual Edinburgh Festival is still on. It's just not that big a deal anymore. And a bunch of artists who weren't allowed to be on didn't like that, so they set up the Fringe, which was, as you can imagine, all around the actual arts festival and said there's no jury. Anyone who wants to put up a show and can afford to pay for the venue hire can do so. It is today one of the largest comedy festivals around the world, and I've been to Montreal and Melbourne, which are the other two uh, big comedy festivals, and Edinburgh is the last one that I haven't been to yet. The one thing that is new in recent years, about the last decade or so, is what's called the, uh, the, the free shows. The free shows, in effect, are where the venue and the performer both do not charge anyone else. So the venue provides their site for free to performers and the performers do not charge an entry fee to anyone in the audience but they do so in the hope that the audience will buy food and drink from the venue and they will pay a tip to the performer, basically pay what they think the show is worth and that really is sort of within the spirit of that original Fringe Festival. Uh, the result of which adds to that amazing atmosphere and, uh, and, and vibe that you have out here on the street. Lots of people handing out flyers, lots of preview shows, lots and lots of people out on the streets, uh, which really, really is a bit overwhelming. So it's 10.30 at night, I'm on the Royal Mile, and it's pretty empty. There's not many people out here flyering, which is nice because in the daytime, it can get pretty hectic. In fact, I've been trying to avoid this place just because of what it looks like when the sun's out. During the daytime, the Royal Mile turns into a very different place, as you can hopefully see. And so sometimes I'm very tempted to escape it all into one of Edinburgh's laneways, like this one, known as a close. Amazing how quickly it all changes. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I will be back a little bit later and hopefully show you a little bit more of Edinburgh.